think what's important is he really helped raise awareness about the importance of African American history, um, architecture, preservation in Savannah, and really wanted to incorporate that into the larger story and history of Savannah. Um, he wanted to tell the African American story, but also make sure people knew it was part of the larger Savannah story. It really wasn't a separate story. On Monday the 19th, we're going to be partnering with Historic Savannah Foundation for a um, moderated panel discussion in the evening at Kennedy Pharmacy. And we're going to be talking about what law did to help um, sort of change historic preservation in Savannah. On Tuesday, September 20th, we're going to have a special Freedom Trail tour that's led by tour guide Johnny Brown, who Mr. Law helped train to lead the tour. Um, Mr. Law started the Negro um, Heritage Trail tour, which was really the first tour that focused on African American sites and history in Savannah, which was really important, raising awareness, um, both in Savannah, but nationally, got a lot of national attention for what he was doing. So we're gonna offer a, a similar tour, and it's gonna visit the sites of Mr. Law, impacted with his preservation work. So places like Laura Grove South Cemetery, King Tisdale Cottage, Beach Institute. On Wednesday, Beth Ryder is going to lead a walking tour through the Beach Institute Historic Neighborhood. Mr. Law was really instrumental in helping with historic preservation efforts in the Beach Institute neighborhood, not just with opening the Beach Institute Cultural Center there and, and the King Tisdale Museum, but also working on actual homes and making sure that they remained affordable for people to live in. Thursday, we're going to launch a new online exhibit on the city's website that's going to um, use items from his own collection, the WW Law Collection, which the city holds and it's accessible to the public. But we're gonna um, digitize materials from his photographs and his awards and his personal papers that focus on his preservation work. So people will be able to view that online. And then on Friday, we're gonna encourage self visits to the historic sites that Mr. Law impacted. And also um, SCAD and Georgia Historical Society are unveiling and dedicating a new historical marker on Broughton Street that day. It's not part of our program, but we'd like to encourage people to go out to that marker dedication. And it's the Savannah Protest Movement marker. So that focuses on his civil rights work, but we wanna make sure people are aware that that marker dedication is going on on Friday.